Hello, everyone. I'm Jingwu. Today, I'm very delighted to have this opportunity to share our work with you, who listeners improve the performance of the representation learning. This is a joint work between University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, and Intellinaire. Before this presentation, I'd also thank for my co-author Jennifer Hobbs and Nara Hakimian for their invaluable contributions. Contrast learning has achieved an incredible performance in the domain of computer vision. A series of well-known contrast learning has been proposed, such as MoCo, Simpson, Sinclair. The goal of the contrast learning is to find the brain training embeddings that could be transferred to various kinds of downstream tasks. And a such idea is realized by pulling the positive pairs of images near to each other and the neg negative pairs apart from each other. To improve the performance of a contrast learning, researchers trying to address this issue from two perspectives. Some of the researchers trying to reduce the mutual information of the positive pairs and generate hard examples. Another branch of the work aims to increase the batch size to guarantee sufficient contrast between positive pairs. In this work, we are trying to improve the representation framework from both of those two perspectives. Our inspirations comes from the learning process of human. Given one pair of positive images, let's say a pair of horses, a person can envision further similarity pa similar pairs by imagining one of the horses in different poses and surroundings. Therefore, if a contrast learning framework could do such a hallucination process or envision process, it could additionally provide a novel pairs for contrast. To enable such a hallucination process, we need to post on the uh, we put, need to put uh, constraints on the cropping process. Instead of using random cropping, we use a center cropping that apply random cropping in the center boxes of the images. Additionally, we introduce center suppressed uh, samplings to guarantee sufficient variance and avoid overconfidence modules. Then we start to talk about the overall pipelines of the proposed methods. The figure shown here is a traditional contrast learning framework we have one image encoded into two positive views with two different, uh, with, with various kinds of data augmentations method. The encoder maps two views from image space to feature space. So we obtain two feature vector Q and K. Then we introduce a proposed hood signatures to reduce the mutual information among Q and K, and eventually uh, get another positive pairs Q and K. Following that, we would like to dive into the hallucinators. To reduce the mutual information, we apply asymmetric extrapolations to push feature vectors Q to the opposite directions of a K. Then we additionally introduce a hallucination process to introduce smoothness into the learning process. Eventually, we convert Q prime to Q hat and output the Q hat and Q. We visualize the cosine similarities of part of pair with three settings, MOCO, MOCO with linear extrapolations, and MOCO with hallucinators. Our results demonstrate that the extrapolation process can reduce the mutual information. However, it is not that stable by such a naive linear operations. Incorporate, incorporating hallucinator can further smooth the learning process and achieve a better result. In the experiment, we demonstrate the linear probing result on a relatively small scale data set like CIFAR-10, CIFAR-100, TinyImageNet, and STL-10. And generally speaking, hallucinators improve the models by 0.3 to 3%. We also report the linear prob or probing result on a larger data set, which is ImageNet-200 and Image-1K. As the scale of the data set increase, the improvement is still observed. Additionally, we demonstrate the, uh, the, the performance of transferring the print chain encoders to downstream tasks, including object uh, detection and instant segmentation. The hallucinator still benefits the final result under various kinds of metric. This result further substantiation the benefits of the hallucinators and the proved its agnostic 
two different model data set and task. I'd like to thank you for your time and attention.